The Electoral Commission's announcement to compel a new voters register has been met with strong resistance and mixed reactions. Apart from the concern of the high cost involved, opponents have raised issues with time. Grace Hamwa Asari looks at this in our story of the week. Parliament has already approved the cost for the new register and procurement of a new biometric system estimated at over 444 million cities. But this has not deterred those against the compilation of the new voters' register. A coalition of six political parties this week served notice to embark on a series of protests to put pressure on the Electoral Commission to rescind its decision. Spokesperson of the Inter-Party Resistance Against the New Voters Register and founder of ACP, Dr. Hassan Ayariga, insisted the reasons for which the EC wants to compel a new register were unjustified and a waste of state's resources. We hold the view that any attempt to spend an additional city on Ghana taxpayers' money on a new register will amount to complete waste, needless spending of limited state resources. General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Isiedun Ketia, said after using the current voters' register to successfully elect about 6,600 district assembly members and about 33,000 unit committee members, it was clear there was nothing wrong with it. How can the register be credible for district assembly elections and within two weeks it becomes bloated? <laughs> The coalition of CSOs for good governance shares the view. If you have a situation where you have a public institution exercising independent authority above the sovereignty of the people, then they are beginning to play God, and that is dangerous for any democratic enterprise. Indeed, the commissioners themselves should remind themselves of how they got into office because their predecessors were removed from office in spite of their independence. Chairman of the Charismatic and Pentecostal Council, Reverend Frimpol Mansung, admonished those against the Electoral Commission's decision to allow the EC carry out its mandate. I believe that we should rather support them and be on board with them rather than being overcritical and think that nothing will happen. Organizers have vowed to hold demonstrations across the country to drum home their demand. But what is the view of the other parties who believe the country needs a new voters' register? Another question is, it is too expensive to compare a new voters' register. I don't know whether your peace of mind can be exchanged for money. A credible voters' register undoubtedly will be needed in order for the country to conduct a peaceful and successful election this year. But looking at the debate and the back and forth around whether or not we should compel a new voters register, lots of talks and lots of conversation, lots of consultation would need to be done before the dust around this issue settles. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, Story of the Week, Accra.